Uh, speaking of the S21 Ultra, here we have a comparison that everybody is concerned with and curious about because Samsung does this thing where in certain markets you get the Qualcomm chip, and people reach out to me about this all the time saying, Lou, it's not fair. I'm in Europe. I'm going to be getting the Exynos chip. I know you're saying it's fast and it's a flagship contender, but over here we have to analyze it differently because we have Ex Exynos chip. And traditionally, the Qualcomm flagship processor has outperformed Samsung's offering. So I understand people making those complaints or having those requests for analysis, but Samsung, it appears in this latest comparison, the new Exynos 2100 versus the Snapdragon 888 has kind of closed the gap a little bit. So we have our speed test here. And if you look at the chart, actually you're looking for lower is better here. So the CPU was tested. Mixed is going to be your CPU and GPU intensive tasks. And then of course the GPU on its own. And you can see the time, the total time at the bottom for this variety of tests. In the CPU only, the Exynos actually wins. Mm. It beats the Snapdragon 888, but once graphics get involved, well, that's where the Snapdragon catches up and gets a better overall time. This is from a fellow YouTuber, so I wanna make sure that that shout out gets in there as well. It is from Speed Test G. What a name. But this is good news for people around the globe that now they're not going to feel so left out because this is pretty comparable performance. And there's other good news too, which is that Sa Samsung may collaborate with AMD in the future on the graphics side, and that may close the gap completely. So you know how I've been saying, Will, it's really getting hot around here if you are Qualcomm. Uh -huh. because you lost the market share in China because of all the various sanctions, so you're not into Chinese devices anymore. You kind of were, you know, you were the flagship king for a while, but now Samsung is starting to approach over there, and we already know what Apple's doing, so it's a lot of heat believe, if you're Qualcomm. Uh, what about MediaTek? Yeah, Me MediaTek we talked too, about right? uh, yesterday. They're making, they're, they're doing better now, mostly in the mid-range, but they've gobbled up all that open market in China, that's available via those sanctions.